Understanding String Along, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, string along. This phrase is commonly used in everyday English, and understanding it can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's explore what it means and how you can use it in your conversations. String along is an idiomatic expression in English. It means to deceive someone by making them believe you are more interested in them than you actually are. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from personal relationships to business dealings. It's important to understand that it often carries a negative connotation, implying manipulation or insincerity. To better understand, string along, Let's look at some examples. In relationships, I finally realized she was just stringing me along. She wasn't interested in a serious relationship. In business, the company strung us along for months with promises of partnership, but it never materialized. In general use, he strung along his parents about being in school, but he had actually dropped out. These examples show how the phrase can be used to describe situations where someone is being misled or deceived. Understanding synonyms can help expand your vocabulary. Similar phrases to string along, include, lead on, implies leading someone to believe something that is not true. Play along, this can mean going along with a deception or a joke. Toy with, implies playing with someone's emotions. Each of these phrases has a slightly different nuance, but they all relate to the idea of deception. Here are some tips on using string along. Be aware of the context. Since it often implies deception, use it carefully. It's more commonly used in informal settings. You can use it in both past and present tenses, stringing along, or strung along. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase string along more confidently in your English conversations. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about expressing ideas and emotions. Keep practicing and don't be afraid to try using new phrases in your daily conversations. Until next time, happy learning!